Tiny Paws, a kitten rescue that takes in kittens that can't live on their own, began in Holly Chapel's house about 10 years ago. Chapels used to work for the Stillwater Animal Welfare and saw what happened to kittens that can't care for themselves. Well, there was a need. Uh, they were euthanizing all the neonatal baby kittens, which is what we rescue. Uh, these feral mama cats have litters, and then maybe the mother cat had a disease or gets killed, or, you know, there's all kinds of reasons why mama feral cats don't come back to their babies. And these babies need to be nursed. And so after a while, they'll start crying and people will realize they've got a litter of kittens under their shed. So that's when the, they take them to animal welfare. And before Tiny Paws started, they were being euthanized. And they haven't euthanized a neonatal kitten since we opened up 10 years ago. Dee Dutt, who is now the assistant director, got involved in Tiny Paws soon after it started. Uh, I got involved with Holly. I'd actually gone to her house to look for a cat for a kitten for a friend of mine and wound up taking a kitten home for me and um, just it just caught me so here I am nine years later. Tiny Paws operated out of Holly's home for nine years before the city of Stillwater gave Holly the current facility, a cinder block building at the corner of 9th and Lowry. They um, gave us this building on the condition that we would refurbish it. It was a mess when we first got it. We uh, did a lot of grant writing and a lot of fundraising and raised about $80,000 to repair it. And voila, it's perfect for our kittens. The new facility has rooms for neonatal kittens, ready to adopt kittens, and special needs kittens that may require special diets or have some sort of vision impairment. Pirate Jack, as some of the volunteers have playfully nicknamed him, had an eye removed after it became infected. Tiny Paws is in constant need of volunteers to run errands, operate the website, feed and socialize kittens, and dozens of other odd jobs needed to keep the shelter running. It's amazing what it takes to keep the kittens going. You know, you think kittens this big can't take much, and we have nearly 100 volunteers to keep us going. Tiny Paws is volunteer-based with no salaries, but Chapel says they get paid in purrs. <coughs> You cannot sit and watch kittens play without laughing. They are just little comedy acts. open from 2 to 6 Wednesdays to Fridays and 1 to 5 on Saturdays and Sundays. Kittens are $50 to adopt and come spayed and neutered and dewormed. For OSA TV, I'm Sally Asher.